All right, here's the story. I started doing stand-up comedy when I was 14. I'll never forget the first time I was on stage. The guy that introduced me was a guy named J.T. Newton. I'm 47. I can close my eyes and remember the introduction like it was yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, this next young man coming to the stage is starting his comedy career tonight. Who knows? We may be witnessing the birth of a star. From the first time that I ever held a microphone, I was sure this was it. I used to bust them people's apartments, just stop me those things! Put the money on the floor, man, get on the floor, don't move! All right, I'm gonna get out of here nice and slow, all right? I don't want any trouble. I got good. Matter of fact, I was good from the moment I started. And I'm not saying this to be a brag, and I'm telling you the truth. These old niggas was in awe of me. How is this little boy so poised? Now, you've got this, this show, and I've seen ads for it everywhere, so they're really out promoting it. It looks like a funny show. This is it. This is the first episode. Y'all ready? It's a, some sketch comedy. Y'all ready to see some sketches? Did you know, before Chappelle's show was at Comedy Central, I pitched that show to HBO. They said, literally, what do we need you for? That's what they told me, as they kicked me out of the office. What do we need you for? You made this deal, Comedy Central, huge deal, $50 million deal. Everybody's talking about it. What are you going to do with that money? How has this changed your life? Charlie Murphy! <laughs> you know what dog food tastes like? Do you? It tastes just like it smells. Delicious. So long, fried rice. Hello, fried chicken. <laughs> His career exploded after The Chappelle Show on Comedy Central, but he suddenly abandoned the show at the height of his success. You had the uh, Dave Chappelle Show at Comedy Central, and then you didn't have the Dave Chappelle Show at Comedy Central. And, 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 and in comedy, the reason most people have a show and then don't have a show is because they say, well, we don't want you to have a show anymore. The case here was you said, I guess you said, I don't want your show anymore, and you uh, took a hike. Everybody wants to know, why'd you walk away? from $50 million. I was doing sketches that were funny, but socially irresponsible. I felt like I was deliberately being encouraged and I was overwhelmed. People were saying though that you were on drugs, you lost your mind, you went into a mental institution. What is true, what is not? When I quit my show, they said I was crazy. What was crazy about it? I just didn't want to do it anymore. You know, but there was all sorts of speculation. Is he crazy? Did he have a breakdown? Is he on drugs? And the more, if you really read the Dave Chappelle story, it almost seems like it was more of peace of mind than it was about money. It's like you're getting flooded with things and you don't pay attention to things like your ethics yeah. or when you get so overwhelmed. And there's some quote that someone had told me. It says, success takes you where character cannot sustain you. People think I made a lot of money for Chappelle's show. When I left that show, I never got paid. They didn't have to pay me because I signed the contract. But is that right? When a hero stumbles, well, the cowards rejoice. Nothing feels better to a coward than to watch a brave guy fall. It's okay to be afraid because you can't be brave or courageous without fear. The idea of being courageous is that even though you're scared, you just do the right thing anyway. When I quit the show, all my friends would say, well, fuck them, Dave. Why don't you just do Chappelle's show at another network? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why doesn't a slave run from one plantation to another plantation because the master over there might be nicer? And here we are all these years later, and they're streaming the very show that I was pitching to them. So I'm asking them, what do you need me for? You're going to pay me. I am inviting you to come with me and work with me. And let's fight against that terrible, terrible feeling that you made me feel together. We can fight together or, or, I can just take it. When I took 12 years off and you put me right back on top when I came back, I couldn't thank you enough. You have kept me free. I have not had to do 
what so many of my colleagues have to do because of you. And when you stop watching it, they called me. And I got my name back. And I got my license back. And I got my show back. And they paid me millions of dollars. Thank you very much.